Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. Today we're going to do something special. I have a Phantom 4 here that hasn't been updated in quite a while. If you just bought a Phantom 4, this is great for you because you might have old firmware on there and I'm not going to spend a ton of time rambling um, on about how to do this. So we're going to try to do this as quick as possible for you. Get right to the heart of the matter and let's get our firmware updated on the controller and on the Phantom 4. So I'm going to walk you through that now. Now you're going to need a few things. Go ahead and make sure that your battery is at least 50% charged. You have your adapter cable ready and you have your DJI GO app open. And go ahead and select Phantom 4 from the device you're going to update. And first we're going to update the controller. So I have a version of DJI GO on here that needs to be updated. And it's going to update to the latest upgrade which is October 17th, 2016. When that's done I'll go ahead and open up the app for you. So now that I have the downloaded app, it's on my device, I have an iPad Air, and everything's updated and ready to go. So I can do my firmware update. I turned on my radio, and I turned on the drone as well. Make sure that you remove your gimbal guard, or you can destroy the motors on the gimbal. Very important. Also, additionally, make sure that you remove the props, all of the props, on your DJI Phantom 4, because that's very dangerous to upgrade or do any work on the bench indoors with your props on. So make sure those are off. Next you're going to put your USB cable in your device on the side over here and plug it into the back of the transmitter. Now that we're all fired up and we're ready to go I can go ahead and click at the top of the screen here where it says ready to go and you'll notice at the very top of the menu you see overall status firmware upgrade required. So the first thing we're going to do is upgrade the RC remote. So the remote controller requires upgrade here and the aircraft. So it tells us to go to the home page to do that, but we don't need to do that. We can do that right inside the app. So we're going to go ahead and download firmware. Make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection. And that's pretty fast. So now we can start the upgrade. And you're going to hear the transmitter start beeping. And it should do it pretty quickly. Okay guys, we're all updated now. The remote controller is upgraded to version 1.8.0. So now all we have to do is reboot the controller. And I'll go ahead and turn off the drone and reboot the controller. And you'll see that we're up to the latest and greatest version. Next we'll do the aircraft. So now go ahead and take your cable and plug it into the side of the drone. And we're going to take the USB cable out of the back of the iPad. And we're going to plug it right into here. We're going to do the aircraft upgrade next. Okay, so now that I have the cable plugged into the drone itself and I've power cycled everything, I turned off the transmitter and the drone in that sequence and then I turned back on the transmitter and the drone. Now I see a new screen. Now you're going to see this is the screen for the firmware update on the aircraft. Now go ahead and click at the very top right, update now and it'll take you through that next process. But we're just going to go ahead and do the update. So Now before you start your download, make sure that you're logged in to the DJI GO app. Otherwise, it will not let you do the firmware update. So now it is downloading. It's 4%. And we're going to speed it up just a little bit so you don't have to wait around. We'll try to make this as quick as possible. Make sure that you don't disconnect any cables during the process. OK, now that the download is complete, it's going to start the update. So press start update here and make sure you don't disconnect any cables during this process. So that's it guys, that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy to update the Phantom 4 and the controller. So went through the process. It probably took about 20 minutes to complete the RC and the aircraft, but not bad. It's really simple compared to what we've done before with Phantom 3 was kind of a nightmare to update and the Phantom 2 was a little bit hard to update for some people that aren't computer savvy. So now we can do it all inside the app and DJI has made it really, really easy for us to update. So. No excuse not to update folks. Make sure you do it on your Wi-Fi connection. You'll be all good to go. Now, one thing I want to mention is that I did get a pop-up during the middle of the update that said device not supported. Please unplug and replug in the cable. I did not do that. Don't unplug the cable if that pops up. That's a very important tip during this upgrade. Never unplug the cable. I'm not sure why that popped up, but it did. So make sure you leave it plugged in. It will finish the update wait it out it's worth it so thanks again for watching you guys i'm justin davis from drone camps rc i'll see you on the next one